Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. These were played on August 19th, part of North American Team Battles, put together, I believe, by both Jayun and Gypsy. I think Gypsy was the leader on that, so I'll give him credit where credit's due. Upper rank one, we have Raz, who you've seen me highlight before. Fantastic Protoss and the very stylish purple. You can check him out at RazBW on Twitch, bottom left hand corner. We have Whip. Whip, like saying his name. And he, you can see him in Rogue's Gallery. I think he was team captain for the Rogue's Gallery team, the Team Smacks, uh, Smack Squad. He is Whip Smacks at twitch.tv. Check him out. I haven't seen him stream that often, though. Shouldn't have mentioned that. He streams all the time. Follow him, follow him, follow him with Rogue's Gallery. Uh, check him out. He is the yellow turn bottom left-hand corner. I think this is the first commentary I've got to do with him on this. So this is going to be something special. And even though... Uh, Raz is my bro, bro. I think I'm going to root a little bit for Whip, just because this is the first outing, as far as a dickety commentary. Anyway, I shouldn't be biased. This is going to be on Polypoid, which everybody loves, and should be an exciting match. Raz, I, I've i had the privilege of watching him really sweep an improvement. Kind of in the, I feel like there's different groupings of players in North America, and I guess all over the place, that play against one another and improve. He's been kind of more of in the uh, machine, 80s mullet, VAT grouping, where he had a degree of improvement. It's nice to see him integrate with kind of the Gypsy June squad. And I'm glad that they're actually getting into NA play because I think it's going to elevate all of them and their skill level. Seeing a barracks and a refinery building up. Standard builds thus far. And as I say that, we have a 12 Nexus on the opposite side from Raz. So Raz going for what I will call economic cheese from Protoss, which you'll see a lot on four-player maps. I think he is, he'll just end up getting away with this because he is at cross-spawn, and it looks like there is a counterclockwise scout from Whip, so he's going to end up seeing Raz's base second. There are ways to counter this for Terran. And now Raz... Oh, I like what... Oh, this is brilliant! Okay, never mind. Whip doesn't fall for it. For a second there, it looked like Whip might... Raz was trying to ploy as though... Oh, nope, I'm actually at this expansion, but I think Whip got a good view of that probe coming from the north instead. Two gateways down, which is the standard follow-up. Get a lot of Dragoon... Or get a handful of units out to try to defend uh, the follow-up. Factory actually planting, so Whip was actually going for more of a defense. Looks like he's got a single SCV on gas... I'm wondering once he sees this 12 Nexus if he's going to filter back towards that or if he's just going to go ahead and sneak out and grab his natural expansion. It looks like he's still keeping that single SCV on gas. So he's going to go ahead and let Raz at least have the early economic advantage and he wants to kind of follow this up with something, trying to attack. I like what Raz is doing, doing the little bit of harassment that he can. Whip stealing those precious minerals as the probes are filtering down. Gateway's remaining silent, so it looks like he's going to try to get it done with Dragoons. And so Whip, adding a machine shop, going to go ahead and plop down his own command center rather than going for some sort of counterattack. Oftentimes you'll see like two factories, sometimes three factories, sometimes a bunch of Marines in composition as far as a follow-up. The only, Well, this isn't a situation I think any Terran wants to be in, but the one advantage is you do end up with a little bit of scouting information as far as some follow-ups, just because of the delays of those Dragoons. Machine Shop Whirling, he's actually going to go for a mine upgrade. So wants to try to follow this up with some Vultures. Knowing that Raz is going to be in a little bit more of a defensive position. Maybe get some mines laid. Play the match from there. Range. Upgrading. And I'm actually a little bit surprised to not see yet another Factory out for whip. We'll see how, how this plays out for him. Dragoon, camp there at the natural expansion. He's going to be able to keep that SCV from returning those minerals home. The Vulture scooting out. Another probe scout trying to walk forward. A bunker being built. And so Raz, going to be able to sneak up. He's going to see the Vulture, but he's also going to see that command center being built. He has to play a little bit more defensively, though. Dragoon actually at a forward position, finding that Vulture. And so a lot of vultures just, and it looks like another SCV sneaking out. So it looks like 
with that expansion whip is wondering whether Raz is going to turn around and be aggressive as far as a follow-up or whether he was going to try to sneak a quick third. So he's going to, or is this potentially whip going to try to take his own hidden expansion in the upper left? I'm curious. Something, I have never seen a Terran do this. And I'm, oh, and he is saving up resources. He is. Wow. Incredible. Whip. I kind of like this play, to be honest. It's gutsy. So Raz, he's like, okay, looks like we're playing an economic game. I'm going to go ahead and take my third. But Whip sneaking a command center in the upper left. And I kind of like that he's doing it that way. Because he knows he's got the vultures out. He can plant mines. And he's got a decent amount of map vision to kind of limit things. A pylon being plopped there at the 12 o'clock location. I think Raz was expecting maybe a drop, potentially. He's like, okay, I'm just going to play economic advantage and roll from there. Observatory out does have an observer. And you can see he's got even dragoons planted out. Potentially worried about a vulture drop. He's going to go ahead and grab his third base. And Dragoon's already in position to go ahead and blockade this. And that's usually what you'd see. You know, you see vultures out in the map early. You expect something like a vulture drop. Observer moving its way across. I don't know if those Dragoons are going to have a lot of opportunity to do uh, field clearing. Armory on the way. Academy being built as well. Still only a single factory. And the Vulture's going to go ahead and sneak up. They see that third base trying to get aggressive. Trying to pick off Dragoons in the small numbers. More Dragoons coming up to support their brethren. Nice little turnaround to go ahead and pick off that probe as well. So now Raz getting this third base, and he doesn't even realize, and he also trying to keep this observer back to go ahead and deal with the vulture run buys, uh, the vulture mine planning. You can see this observer moving forward, going ahead and trying to get some map position and, and do some visual clearing. But this base is already starting to produce for whip in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm waiting for him to just drop a slew of factories to turn around, but Raz does have this kind of interesting window, and he's, are you kidding me? He's taking a fourth base off two factories. This is, okay, this is to the point of greed on Whip's part. This is just blatant, blatant. He's, he's out protossing rat, he's out protossing protoss. He's still, he's just now got a second factory and he's already going for a third base. Vulture is continuing to, to press this back. This is bold play. This is a, this is a stereotypical protoss game plan. So, and he's giving the visual information to Raz that, yeah, okay, I'm playing your economic game. The Dragoon's pressing in. They're going to try to pick off a siege tank. It looks like they are able to do so. Are they going to be able to get... They actually might be able to wipe this out. Might even force a cancellation. Because I don't know that there's going to be enough reinforcements. To This was kind of my concern with going for this. And this is why it's so greedy. Is because as Raz just throws units at this, there's just not enough to defend. So that's going to force a cancellation here. Hopefully a cancellation of this command center. Is he going to cancel it? Okay, there, there's the cancellation. But Raz might be able to just run him over. SCV's pulling off the line. Yeah, too greedy by whip. SCV's not there to repair the bunker, unfortunately. And I think Raz smells the blood. Some vultures snuck across. It looks like they're trying to get some pro kills to force this back a bit. But now whip bleeding some SCVs. Group repair on that siege tank, but still too many Dragoons in this natural expansion. I think, much like Jayun at the end of the previous uh, set, Whip got caught just being way too greedy here. And he was just relying on Raz to play passively uh, to pull ahead in this match. Looks like there is a tank sieging to the high ground. SCVs oh, are going to be able to actually to push these Dragoons back. But Whip, even though he's got this third base up and running, is now in a spot of economic trouble, comparatively. Oof, and he still tried to move that siege tank out. Whip, come on, man. Little, Way too greedy. Third base is up for Raz. He's got worker count lead. Considerable army count lead. And he more or less can just kind of... Reef, it's almost like kind of do a box contained thing here. So Vulture's able to sneak by. More Dragoons are, should be able to engage that. It looks like Raz feeling a strong degree of map control. He's going to go ahead and take that 12 o'clock base. I don't realize, I don't know that he realizes the full situation here. Because he, he has not yet scouted this base in the upper left. 
In fact, I think he's a little bit. Con he, I, I think he's got to be a little bit confused as to okay, why did Whip not GG here? Is he just being belligerent? I think that's what's going through Raz's mind right now. He's gonna go ahead, and so he's yeah, starting to sneak out, and he's like, okay, did you sneak this six o'clock with that probe to go check? And I'm wondering if he's gonna finally check that upper left hand base. I do not think Whip can defend it if it is found. And this is one of those situations where it's like, okay. Got to be confusing on, on Raz's side. Ooh, some probes. Get, nice job on Whip, at least to sneak something out. Still able to get a handful of kills here. Whip, with those three command centers, just rapidly producing a lot of SCVs, is resaturated. But still a little bit low in his overall army, uh, army comp. Two machine shops down. He is building yet another command center, so he wants to continue to try to play this at a strong economic clip. Only five gateways down comparatively for Raz, and Raz... Running into the same problem opposite corner. And this has to be the confusing moment for Raz is where did he get the minerals to build all of these vultures and these siege tanks and whatnot? Losing some dragoons out in open field. Raz still with a, a considerable supply lead, but he no longer has full map control. Pylons warping in, some cannons to go ahead and block that. Dragoons need to be careful because there are mines out in the map. That's one dead Dragoon. Exploding. The Vulture's going ahead and finding that 12 o'clock location. In the meantime, we have tacking down some additional factories. He does have level 1 weapons. He's working towards level 2 and armor. He probably just wants to go ahead and set up, take this additional base. He's going to be sitting at effectively 4 bases and max out from there. I don't know how he plans on defending this upper left-hand base. I think he's just hoping that Raz is not going to bother to defend this. Raz... Tacking that pylon down to the 9 o'clock. This might be the moment where, let's see if he goes, sneaks to that upper left and discovers it now. But essentially, Whip's game plan for here is sit back, macro up. Raz still sitting, honestly, I feel like just too few gateways, and but keeping it low because he's going for carriers in the meantime. He's already pinned, I believe this was an intentional pin on that probe, to allow these carriers to be built and have kind of that group micro. Discover that base upper left. The Dragoons are just flooding that direction. Whip just has to let it... Just thinking that might be units. There's the units that are making their way that direction. He's just going to have to let this go. And honestly, I don't even know that he should dedicate troops. But he is starting to move up for a counterattack, I believe. Command Center's lifting off. The SCV's trying to escape. The Dragoon's going to get all sorts of damage done. But reinforcements getting cut off. And unfortunately for Raz, I feel like this is just a, a swing of bad luck. I don't know that that Comsat caught the carriers being built, but Raz in the middle of a carrier build, and so he might end up losing this mineral only as while they were moving up to that upper left, getting pinned back by the vulture mines and Whip just sneaking in underneath and doing all sorts of damage. Might be able to just wipe out that Nexus. The carriers are coming to help defend this. But the Nexus is already down. Whip can just unsiege and pull back. Needs to fill out his army with some Goliaths to deal with the carriers that are out in the field. And if he didn't know carriers were on the way, he knows now. The Dragoon's continuing to, to press from the left to go ahead and take what siege tanks out he can. The command center's still sitting here. It looks like it's being hit by a single Dragoon. The SEVs that were trying to flood out, it looks like they mostly got wiped out. And Whip going to pull back Whip in a difficult situation now. He's down. He has another command center that he's trying to float at the 9 o'clock. But carriers are out in the air. He's down 40 supply. I don't think he has enough Goliaths to repel this. I don't know that he has enough siege tanks to defend anything as well. Trying to be annoying with vultures and mines and is being very, very annoying. Picking off several Dragoons as they're walking through that minefield without observer coverage. But Raz, critically has the carriers already at this natural expansion, is able to take out that gas pretty rapidly. He does have some Goliaths underneath. These Goliaths do have level 2 weapons, which makes them fairly effective against these carriers. But still, Raz has such a huge supply lead. He's just really been keeping up with his macro. It looks like that command center is going to be picked out of the sky. The Goliaths moving up, trying to catch them on the low ground, but this is a wonderful position for Raz to be in, where he can just use map artifacts to kind of sneak back and forth kind of over that 
and just move into that natural expansion the goliaths have to just walk a great distance to go ahead and re-engage this keeping that second gas down which is going to keep that goliath count the vultures just kind of hanging out there i was wondering if they were trying to pick through and get across there the goliaths underneath trying to pin these carriers in a couple turrets trying to do the same that goliath alone and picked off but while all of this is happening Raz is reaching near 200 supply. And Whip has yet to, to cross the 150 mark. Whip, however, does have this third base up. But he's got that carrier problem at his natural expansion. And that is a big problem to have. More zealots starting to flood across. Dragoons now moving in as well. Whip has a siege tank line that's engaging towards that third base. Siege tanks trying to protect those Goliaths. <clears throat> and while those Goliaths are out of position, it looks are these carriers going to get out? Are they going to get caught? Looks like they're engaging on the high ground. They should just get out of dodge. It looks like, okay, they are going to fly across the map artifact to the north and be able to escape. Raz regrouping, recouping. Significant upgrade advantage for Whip. The rest of these gateways remaining silent. Templar Archives finally dropping. There's... This command center, what is that one from the upper left? From the upper left, finally getting picked off. Whip trying to take a 6 o'clock. I don't know that he's going to be able to hold it, though. And Whip trying to reinforce. I think what Whip wants is to just sit back, try to remax, and have yeah, sufficiently upgrade. And this is the thing. Even though there's this big upgrade disadvantage, if Whip engages this really well, he does have enough upgrades where he might be able to equalize this army. Not sieging those tanks up, just allowing them to attack the Dragoons underneath. The Goliaths able to pick off one of the carriers, trying to engage yet another carrier. Whip trying to back off. Ooh, right on top of his own mine line and losing a slew of siege tanks to a mine drag. And Whip no longer having Goliaths underneath this. A lot of them getting picked off. That's opening up the carriers to just dive on top of what siege tanks remain. And that might be it for Whip. Some vultures trying to delay the Dragoons. Raz briefly going back, rescuing the Dragoons so he can re-engage. And now it's just pushing into that 6 o'clock base. A single vulture trying to peck away at that bottom right-hand corner. A zealot clearing a mine with his face at the 3 o'clock to go ahead and allow Raz to get that base. He's also taking it. He's basically expanding everywhere behind this. Raz has a huge bank, a sizable army. And Whip, his main is starting to look thin. His natural expansion is still running. But he's basically trying to take bases and just hope that Raz doesn't come around and take them from him. Because right now, he, there's nothing he can do about it. Barely has enough siege tanks to defend his third. SCV's floating into the upper left-hand corner. Again, just trying to sneak expansions. Not going to work this time. And while that's happening, the carriers are just floating freely. And picking off a lot of Goliaths. And doing just trying to do what economic damage they can in this back corner. Probes transferring to the bottom right. So Whip trying to deal with the carrier threat. Get some semblance of an economy up. Might do so because it looks like Raz is kind of letting this happen. This he saw the S I, I assume he saw the SCVs sneak by. So Whip actually taking this base in the upper left again, while this natural expansion's been hidden from Raz underneath. And now this is the situation where I'm i I'm gonna say that okay, Whip. Whip now is staying in the match a little bit too long. <laughs> because these are these are some desperation command centers. Big Goliath fleet moving up, but there is a lot of Dragoons and I Templar moving in to go ahead and engage them. This is a base that Whip critically needed to hold. Observers floating in as well. So this base getting taken out, the SV is trying to, to flee. And yeah, Whip playing this Protoss style now wants to play Whack-A-Mole. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of factories sneaking out. Oh, those SCVs getting, eating the lightning from the sky. And the command center once again exploding gloriously in the air. That must be a feat to see for Protoss and Terran. Like in the middle of war, do you think they stop and they just look at it like a firework? It's like, guys, check this out. Wait, wait. I know we're fighting each other and there are lasers flying every which way, but can we just appreciate this command center just exploding in the air? I would stop to watch that. Like, brethren... Arm, it's like the Christmas armistice, but still with like a very violent 
overtone. Anyway. They should make a cinematic of that. That would be a sick cinematic. Anyway. Raz continuing to apply the pressure. I think he, he just knows this is effectively a cleanup operation. Somehow this command center is up in the upper left-hand corner. This 9 o'clock base is up. I think this is, what, five siege tanks? I think that's all Whip has is five siege tanks. A handful of vultures actually might be able to pick off some High Templar here. At least getting one High Templar. So Raz just needs to do the cleanup operation of clearing out the nine, clearing up this upper left-hand base once he rediscovers that it's there. Another carrier getting picked off. Honestly, I feel like Raz is worrying a little bit too much with his carrier micro and not just running Whip just over at this stage of the match. Dragoon moving in, mind dragging into the vultures. Raz has the economy to kind of do that sort of thing at the moment. <clears throat> He's got all sorts of bases. He's in firm control of this match. It's just now it's kind of the game of how long is this going to take for Raz to beat Whip. And this is where I would say chat, take, take bets. Nice Ice Storm catching those siege tanks. Is it going to take five minutes? It's going to take ten minutes. Weapons one being upgraded. Trying to go up the ramp, having difficulty doing so. And actually Whip looks like he's going to be able to evict this. Ooh, nice size storm over those Goliaths otherwise. Honestly, I think losing that carrier... I mean, you never want to drop units, but I think the carriers actually might... Losing the carriers might be a benefit here. Because I think if he just went in just straight with Zealots, a little bit of stasis, he'd be able to finish this straight up. He does have Templar Archives up, so he could move back to Arbiter Tech if he wanted to. Looks like he's still going to stick with the carriers, though. Raz backing off. Finally finding... <laughs> This upper left hand base again. He's gotta be he's gotta be going like Come on at this stage. I think this is so I think this is one of those things where Terrans can enjoy this match because this is like what Protoss do to Terran all the time, right? Everybody else can enjoy this match where it's just like what what a character Whip is. But I'm wondering if Whip is gonna be able to sneak yet another base. Maybe he tries to sneak at the Six o'clock. Raz is sitting at twice the supply currently. This command center is certainly going to get picked off again. There's photon cannons to kill the SCVs should they desire to escape. Whip trying to run up with what he's got into that natural expansion. Raz is a little bit oversaturated on probes. He's sitting at 83 probes, which is cutting a bit into his ability to create an army. He's actually setting up. He's like, okay, I'm going to pin your army in this time and wiping out the cannons. This is kind of cute. But while he's doing that, there's nothing to defend this 9 o'clock. So Rad's going to position underneath and go ahead and wipe that out. The Goliaths in panic, trying to get back across. A battle probe. Yeah, get him probe. And Carrier's wiping everything else out. Yeah, and as soon as the, the Dragoons and Zealots are able to get up on the high ground, that should be it. And I'm wondering if Raz is going to Manor Nexus here, now that he's got this probe here. Get a kill. Attack a Goliath probe. Don't be a coward. You came out. You knew what you were getting into coming out to the front. Side storm over SCVs again. You knew what you were getting into. Siege tanks are repositioning to go ahead and try to save that 9 o'clock location. Not going to happen, though. So the 9 o'clock base is gone. This is the one mining base for Whip. However, it does not have SCVs in position to mine. Some Psy Storm blatantly left over as the units are being killed. And Raz just throwing in a handful of units here and there. Still some mines out there. I was wondering if those were units. Out in the mini-map. Carriers wiping out what they can. Psy Storm. Another Vulture running the way across. Now, here's the problem for Whip. He doesn't have really any additional locations where he can sneak any sort of base. Observer also sees that uh, command center right there. Okay, there's the GG from Whip, finally. <laughs> but the game was over quite a while ago. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun seeing Whip, though, uh, in a match. And I almost wish it had paid off and he could have out uh, out-tossed the toss. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Move on to this momentarily for people on Twitch. I will see you next Tuesday, if not earlier. I uh, am also going to be Friday live streaming NetHack for two hours around 8 o'clock, if you want to see that. NetHack is actually the game where I got my uh, username from. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.